You know, I love this place. You Me should too. love this place. Because what we do here is monitor the companies to make sure that they are doing their business in an ethical fashion that's going to benefit small producers. So they trade in a fair way. Exactly. So what are some of the urgent things that uh, we need to look at that are pressing for your organization? And you are? I'm Tia Lofsgaard. I'm the Director of Business Development for Food Canada. Good. And some of the big issues that we try to focus on is products that are made very far away in developing worlds, such as coffee, cocoa, sugar, that people can't see the way that they're made. So really, we're a transparency model for people to understand that the products are made without child labor, or forced labor, or um, use of nasty pesticides. Also, to look at the way that a co-op is run, that people have democratic decision-making in their workplace. So we really look at labor, environment, as well as the economic side to make sure that farmers are paid well. Yeah, you've been around, the Canadian side has been around for how long? Since 1994. We're part of the global organization, which has been around since the late 1980s. So how is Canada embracing this fair trade practice? Well, through the use of this logo, really, what you see is that this is the seal of approval to make sure that products are actually conforming to the international fair trade standards. That you'll have the place because, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what do we need to, to know more about how to have a more fair trade? Do you offer training or...? Yeah, like we work with an international network. We rely on producer networks in Asia, Africa and South America. We make sure that the companies that import the products uh, conform with the trade standards, with the Fed for trade standards. And we offer marketing support. We can train staff from companies here to actually understand what is fair trade. And how long is this training process or you know, converting to a more fair trade practice? What's the process? A month or two or a year or what? To Not even. I mean, we do sales team training within a half hour at times to give people uh, the, the tools. So when a customer comes in and says, what is fair trade? You can say, boom, boom, boom. It means fair economic deal with good environmental practices for, you know, and people really need to know and understand that to be able to convert consumers over to understand that this is actually ethical. Great. I know you have a publication here, Fair Trade Canada. What's, uh, what's that about? So this is a collaborative uh, magazine put together by the Canadian Fair Trade Network, which is the grassroots national movement. Uh, this is a collaboration to really bring the educational component between the companies, the brands, us as the Fair Trade Certifier, and the grassroots movement. So you'll see articles in here about the Fair Trade Towns movement, Fair Trade campuses. Um, we've got a global movement happening to support ethical trade worldwide. Okay, let's look at some of the products you have that are trading fairly. Well, we've got a huge variety and I think that's the point of this show today is to really profile that we're not just coffee. A lot of people know about coffee, but we do have a very large variety of coffee. Everything from small independent chef uh, private label brands to multinationals. Uh, this is an am amazing product that's actually a farmer owned cooperative in Thailand. But if you go to all the variety that we've got, we've really got soya sauce that's made as fair trade. We've got spices. We've got uh, organic coconut water and coconut milk and chocolate and tea. We've got such an amazing variety. If you go over here, you can also see that you can even find fair trade cosmetics. Uh, made from shea butter, cocoa butter and uh, old seeds, different old seeds. We do have fat rich chocolate, obviously, a large variety. We do have beverages, chewing gums, sugar for industrial use or bakery use. We have spices again and what maybe less people know is that there's also fat rich wine. There's alcoholic beverages, rum, vodka made from fat rich quinoa and very new also a mojito mix. Okay. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a large variety of products. What you can see here is also there are, there are flowers, there is produce, mangoes, oranges, bananas. Nice. Now I understand you're doing like your second annual awards night or celebration. Tell me about that. That's right. So we 
understand that retailers really need to collaborate in order to bring fair trade to market. So by listing products such as fair trade gum, etc. I think it's really interesting to, for us to be able to show the collaborative nature and the importance in their role of bringing products to market. So every year we're doing a fair trade retailer awards and it ranges from the categories of national grocery, independent cafes, uh, liquor commissions, um, cafe food stores, home food stores, co-op. Stores. Uh, we have a variety of, ca of categories and so again uh, it'll be tomorrow night, uh, Thursday, October 3rd in Toronto at Hank's Wine Bar that will be uh, presenting these awards. Um, alongside that we'll have of course our board of directors there and many brands and activists that bring this all to fruition as well as retailers. So we do invite anybody who'd like to come out and that'd be wonderful. I understand it's free? It yes. is free and you're going to get one free fair trade wine or mojito with it. Well, now, so people from across Canada would be attending this and... Yes. So we have national retailers, we'll have uh, representatives from Federated Co-op coming out, we've got people from Choices Market coming out, we've got um, committed retailers like Whole Foods Market coming out. We, we're really there to be able to bring together the community so that people understand that doing ethical business takes all of us. Great. More information, website is? Fairtrade.ca. And the address is Church Street, one and a like half, Church Street, nine and a half. You're based in Ottawa, correct? We're based in Ottawa. Okay, but we great. travel a lot, so you'll see us at many different churches. Okay. I think that's fair. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.